Yes, glory to God. We will make sure we have the victory this year. We will make sure that we have with our Father the help of the Holy Spirit and the angels. We will have the final say, not the demons, not the wicked powers, not the wicked fallen spirit. They are under our feet and that's where they will stay forever. We have made up our minds. We are not of them that draw back. We are of them that press in and get all that God has promised for us this year. The father has said it's a new dawn year. It's a year where eyes have not seen, ears have not heard the things that he has prepared for them that love him. Did you hear the condition? them that love him do you love God if you love God February is your month if you love God February is the month where you will begin to see the glorious things that God had promised for us in 2018 if you love God because you love God this month is the month that you will indeed lift up your hands and say my God is a lover my God is a rewarder. My God is the God that brings to pass the things he has promised. This is the month you will begin to see the manifestations of words that were spoken to you some 10, 15 years ago. For those that have been walking with the Lord that long. This is the month, this month of February will not end until you have said my God is indeed a lover. Amen. Amen. Now, we ended yesterday by saying that we, as we begin to transition from looking at the ministry of angels to the ministry of the Holy Spirit, because daddy said it, that this year we need to know, we need to be acquainted, we need to understand the ministry of angels and understand and walk in the uh, full knowledge and manifestation of the spirit of God that is living in us and with us. We said yesterday, as we were praying for the year, we said that angels are not superior to the Holy Spirit. Neither is the Holy Spirit inferior to angels. These two don't have conflict. They have their different respective roles. They have their respective places in our lives and they function differently. Amen. The, the, the job of the Holy Spirit is different. Now, I will, because I want to, the difference, because I want to show us the difference between the ministry of angels and the ministry of the Holy Spirit, really quick, I will make it in a way that no matter what, because this is, this is the truth, okay? I don't talk about devils and, and angel or uh, uh, wicked spirit that much if you've listened to us. But if you have to be, you have to tear down. Tearing down means you have to destroy some things. And the biggest weapon of the enemy is deception. It's ignorance. Lies tellings. Making the truth twist the truth. So what am I trying to tear down here? What am I trying to expose here? What am I trying to open up for you to see? The enemy will come to you and start talking to you like, oh, you know, um, because you believe in, in, in the angels, the Holy Spirit is not going to work in your life. Or he begins to tell you things like, now that you're looking up to angels, the Holy Spirit is grief. No, there is no conflict between the two. Angels are like, the mailman for example if your sister lives in uh, miami florida and your sister sends you a parcel right when that parcel comes to your house when you open the door it's not your sister that's going to deliver the mail to you it is the mailman if it's a fedex a parcel it's a fedex carrier that will give you the parcel if it's UPS, it's a UPS carrier that will give you the parcel. But who sent it? Your sister, right? Now, this is what we're saying. Angels are messengers. Even the Holy Spirit, there are things the Spirit of God will want to do. When they speak the word, they mean Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When they declare a word, it is the angels that come to minister it to you. Now, there are times when the Holy Spirit will minister to you. When we go to the, 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 you're walking with the Holy Spirit. I will teach on that detail when we go to that part. But let's leave it right here now. So the angels have a place and they function in their place. And the Holy Spirit has his place and he functions in his place. 
Amen. So we'll go back to concluding with angels in the New Testament. So many places in the New Testament, you will see angels manifesting. As a New Testament believer, as a child of God functioning in the, in the Christian or in, in the church dispensation, know about angels. If this is your first uh, message uh, on this series, if this is your first time listening to Bill for Global Impact, I beg you go back and look at messages uh, um, making 2018 a glorious year. I think from the 18th message, or if I'm not mistaken, from the 10th coming down, or just look for the subtitle Angels. We have been teaching on the ministration of angels. And if you just want to stay with the New Testament, we've done that for like five recordings. There are angels in the New Testament and they function with the Holy Spirit. They don't function against the Holy Spirit. They don't fight with the Holy Spirit. There's no confusion between their function and their interactions. Amen. So get to know your angels, get to know the Holy Spirit, acquaint yourself with the angels, acquaint yourself with the Holy Spirit, know how they function and put them to work. Amen. Fellowship with the Holy Spirit and put your angels to work. Glory to God. Amen and amen.